They're off. Very awkward start for Trophy Daddy. Good start for Summer Sweet Road, who goes for the front. Blanco Bronco and Suspicious Eyes are close up. Papa Paul is on heels. These three are quickest into the clubhouse turn, and it will be a Summer Sweet Road who has the lead from Suspicious Eyes in second. Blanco Bronco is third. Then it's two back to Officer Sid. And then at the rail, it's Papa Paul as they turn into the backstretch. Whoever you bet on, he's in front. Congratulations. So they run towards the 5 eighths pole. Let's take a shot at looking at him. I can tell you that for sure the leader is Summer Sweet Road. He is a half length in front of Blanco Bronco, who's racing in second. Now just up outside of him, it's Suspicious Eyes. Suspicious Eyes has taken the lead from Summer Sweet Road. Blanco Bronco is moving nicely. Here he comes up into third. Officer Sid follows him. And then at the rail, it's Amazing Vision as they run into the far turn. And the new leader is Suspicious Eyes or not, who's going to call me a liar. Blanco Bronco's on the move to the outside. Officer Sid moves up. You know, I'm really excited about Hudson Henry. He's the new recruit this year for Razorback football. And he's got the lineage, and he can. Uh, his, his brother plays in the NFL, so I, I think he's going to really be exciting. Horsemen and jockey agents, you reminded that nominations are still open for the Rebel Stakes. They come, and here's Amazing Vision, who's cleared off. Amazing Vision to the final 16th. He leads by two from Cato Dado. They come to the wire. Amazing Vision. Indeed. Wins by three. Cato Dado was second. Blanco Bronco third. And Mr. Cougar finished fourth. They're off. Linda Listen and Big Kitty Kitty feels right and soaring Lil Sass, Factress Between Horses, then Saucy at Midnight and a Banner Wave, followed by CC's Baby Girl and Queen of Summer, and the early trailer is Baby Lily. Up the backstretch with Feels Right just in front of Soaring Lil Sass, Feels Right and Neck in front. Soaring Lil Sass is second by a length and a half to Factress. Sassy at Midnight is moving up on the outside, and here's Saucy at Midnight up into third and less than two from the front. CC's Baby Girl tries to follow her. Then Banner Wave and Linda Listen at the rail. Queen of Summer has six to make up. She's just outside of Big Kitty Kitty. And Baby Lily is still the trailer as they run towards the quarter pole. And Soaring's Little Sass has taken over the lead. Saucy at Midnight is on the attack. Feels Right is back in third now and a length and a half from the front. And we have a new leader. Saucy at Midnight. Now a half length in front of Soaring's Little Sass in a second. Big Kitty Kitty is next. But it's Saucy at Midnight now clear to the 16th pole and four lengths in front. Sorry, little sass is second. Here's Linda Listen for a minor award. Saucy at Midnight in front. Saucy at Midnight won by three and a half. Soaring little sass was second. Linda Listen third. Big Kitty Kitty finished fourth. They're off. Allie's song and Sugar Cube shows speed. A disto island. Baba knows everything sent, but not any better than fifth early. Skylar Warrior and Oki Toaster next. Then Ms. Oklahoma Blues. And the early trailer is Canelo Cayente. A disto island is the leader to the backstretch from a lineup of four. Four wide is Skylar Warrior inside of her Allie's song. Two off the rail is Baba Knows Everything and Sugar Cube. The favorite is at the rail. She's fifth, but only about a length and a half from the front. 
Then comes Oki Toast and Ms. Oklahoma Blues. They both have four lengths to make up, and Canela Caliente is the trailer as they head up the backstretch with Adisto Island the leader. Adisto Island, three quarters of a length from Baba Knows Everything, the similar margin to Sugar Cube, third at the rail. Sugar Cube is a length and a half from the front. Ali Song and Skylar Warrior now have three to make up. They're a length in front of Ms. Oklahoma Blues. Oki Toast is second to last with six to close, and the trailer is still Canela Caliente and the leader is still Adisto Island. Adisto Island around the far turn now three quarters of a length in front of Baba Knows Everything in second. Sugar Cube has every chance from there. She's third and a length and a half from the front. Skylar Warrior is next then Ms. Oklahoma Blues. Adisto Island the leader. Sugar Cube is being confidently handled from the inside. She just moved into second and now she's after the front running Adisto Island and here comes Sugar Cube. Baba Knows Everything goes with her. Sugar Cube is the new leader. She's now a length in front of Baba Knows Everything. Adisto Island is back to third, and Sugar Cube is clear a 16th out, and she's got it. Sugar Cube now far in front. Baba Knows Everything in Adisto Island. Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube won by three and a quarter. Baba Knows Everything second. Adisto Island third. Ms. Oklahoma Blues finish fourth. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. Because Arkansas residents can bet on races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime from anywhere. Download the Oaklawn Anywhere app or visit oaklawnanywhere.com to sign up. Sign up now and you can qualify for a bonus of up to $150. Best of all, Oaklawn Anywhere is a free betting service with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Our city is home to the nicest people. Well, Al Capone did live here a while, but other than that, really, really nice people. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. The thermal spring waters our city is named after are known for their legendary healing properties. Their thirst quenching properties are pretty nice too. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. West Rock Coffee is made from the highest quality beans available, grown by passionate farmers in East Africa. We continually educate our farmers to ensure that they have the latest tools and training, which result in the highest quality coffee. In doing so, we make sure that every worker is able to build a good life for themselves and their families. Each cup of West Rock coffee enriches the lives of both those who drink it and more importantly, those who grow it. West Rock works wonders. They're at the post. They're off. Good start for Kennedell, who is sent for the front from Pleasure and Glory. Between horses is Lucky Be a Lady. Kennedell and Lucky Be a Lady now match race up the back stretch. Augusta lands in a good spot in third. Then Pleasure and Glory, Sunset Cruise, and Mrs. Howell. Catwaltz is about seven from the front. Inside of her is American Royal. Then it's two lengths to Classy Connect, and the trailer is Goldie again. Kennedale leads into the far turn, just a half a length, maybe less than that, maybe only a head to Lucky Be a Lady, Augusta looms large. Here comes Augusta, three wide in the yellow, has yet to be asked, and she's cruising up after the front. Pleasure and Glory is fourth, and a hard ridden fourth. She's three from the front. Then Sunset Cruise and Mrs. Hal, Augusta's on the move. Augusta is outside of Kennedale. These two are now a half length in front of Lucky Be a Lady, but it's Augusta who clears now at the furlong marker and she's two lengths in front. Kennedale is battling on in the second, then Lucky Be a Lady and Mrs. Howe, but it's Augusta clear to the 16th pole. She's two and a half in front. Kennedale and Lucky Be a Lady. It is Augusta in front. Augusta wins in hand and wins by three. Lucky Be a Lady was second. Kennedale third. Mrs. Howe finished fourth.
They're off. Plentiful has asked for speed. All about Ashley isn't, but he is close up anyway. All about Ashley, Plentiful drops back now, so it changes going into the clubhouse turn, and Ted W. with I still got it, and a four wide All about Ashley inside of him, a Monastrell. Then it's two back, two plentiful. He tried for the lead and could do no better than fifth early. Vapor Man is outside of him with Dangerfield between horses. And Carouse is out sprinted early, already double digits behind the leader, Ted W. Ted W is the boss to the back stretch. He leads by a length from I Still Got It in second. All about Ashley, Monastrell, a four wide Vapor Man, and plentiful at the rail. They all make up the third flight, all about two and a half or three from the front. Dangerfield is just in behind that group. Then it's four back to Carouse. They're at the half mile pole. The finish line is the 16th pole, and Ted W's trying to get there first. All about Ashley is outside of I Still Got It, and here's All About Ashley smoothly into second. All About Ashley is after Ted W. Vapor Man follows him. Then I Still Got It. Plentiful backs out. Monastrell and Carouse at the back of the pack. Ted W is the one to beat. All About Ashley is a length behind in second and has every chance, but the whip is out now on All About Ashley. Ted W still leads three quarters of a length. All About Ashley has every chance, and now he runs alongside and puts his neck in front. Ted W is second. Four back to Monastrell and Plentiful. Then Vapor Man. All About Ashley has a final hundred to get. Ted W carouse on the scene late. All About Ashley. All about Ashley won a length and a half. Ted W was second. Carouse got third from Vapor Man in fourth. At Coors, our mountain is creating a more sustainable world. It's why we pioneered the recyclable can, made our breweries landfill free, and built the most powerful solar array at any one brewery in the country. But our climb is far from over, so we keep pushing forward. Coors Light, whatever your mountain, climb on. Local favorite Bones Chop House offers premium in-house cut steaks, fresh seafood, and a full-service bar with a great selection of wines and spirits. Open Tuesday through Sunday, they offer nightly dinner specials. And join them on your way to the track Sunday for brunch. Located at 3920 Central Avenue in Hot Springs. Hearty eating and good company at Bones Chop House. Ministry, Ms. 51st Street Division of Chocolate. Ministry in front. J.E.'s hand-me-down to the wire. J.E.'s hand-me-down. Who Nani Road wins the rainbow. And here's Georgia's reward between horses. Fire, water, rocket back to second. Georgia's reward, yes. Glacken's Ghost suddenly three in front. Chant me up, baby, and racer try for second. Glacken's Ghost. The Phasing Tipton Golf Stream Sale. Offering selected two-year-olds in training with a depth of quality that is unrivaled. Star graduates include grade one winners Audible, Bella Fina, Dream Tree, and Four Star Crook. Plus exciting three-year-olds like Maximus Mischief, Instagram, and Desmond. We bought grade one winner Bella Fina at last year's Gulfstream sale. Where will you be? Selected sales, superior results. The Phasing Tipton Gulfstream sale March 27th in Hallandale Beach, Florida. They're at the post. They're off. Bad start for determinant. He hopped in the air. Lenstar wins the break, goes to the front from Cat Daddy and Bold Prophet. Eisenstadt moves nicely to the rail. Good move, Orlando Mojica. Eisenstadt will save ground early. Cosmologist is next, and the bad start has determinant 
at the back of the pack. Lindstar is the leader to the back stretch. He's a length in front of Bold Prophet, who's tugging up in second. Now Lindstar only leads three quarters of a length. Bold Prophet is clearly second. Cat Daddy, Eisenstadt, and a determinant to the outside. They're all about three from the front. Cosmologist has four lengths to make up as they run to the back stretch. It is still Lenstar still in front. He goes to the half mile pole, a half length in front of Bold Prophet, who has every chance to attack from there. Cat Daddy and Eisenstadt. Cat Daddy trying to beat Eisenstadt to the spot, leaving the back stretch. Then comes Determinant. Cosmologist is still sixth and last. He's got seven lengths to make up and three furlongs to do it with Lenstar and Bold Prophet one, two. Lenstar, three quarters of a length, still in front of Bold Prophet in second. Cat Daddy is put to a drive in third, Determinant and Eisenstadt. Cosmologist check catching up to the back of the pack, but he's still seven lengths behind. Lenstar and Bold Prophet. Lenstar maintains that lead. He's a half length now in front of Bold Prophet in second. The whip is out on Cat Daddy, then Eisenstadt, Determinant and Cosmologist, and here's Bold Prophet now right alongside Lenstar. Cat Daddy continues to battle on bravely from the inside. These three, Lenstar trying to turn them all away. Bold Prophet, Cat Daddy, Lenstar all heart, Lenstar wins. Lenstar won by a half length. I think Cat Daddy just beat Bold Prophet for a second. Determinant finished fourth. They're at the post. They're off. Loopaloo broke well, so did Zip Your Lip and Cabot. These three be will race out and battle with Miracle Line, these four across the track. Then comes a strong union, Kansas City Zip, Oxen, and Wild Poppet. Beamy Award moves to the rail from Swither's Shortcut, and the early trailer is Freeze Line. It is Zip Your Lip, Cabot, and Loopaloo right across the track. These three match strides a half length in front of at the rail, Kansas City Zip, and just outside of him, Miracle Hill. Wyatt Poppet has four lengths to make up. He's two in front of Oxen and on the outside, Strong Union. Beamy Award still seven from the front. Then Swithers Shortcut and Freeze Line, Loopaloo and Cabot at the top of the stretch. They're still joined with Zip Your Lip, Loopaloo outside of Cabot. Now these two set the stage for a good stretch battle. Cabot is inside, Loopaloo is outside and they are trading punches. Zip Your Lip battles on in third, Cabot is short lead. Loopa Loopaloo, Wild Poppet just took fourth. Cabot has the lead. Loopaloo, zip your lip. It is Cabot to the wire to win. Cabot won a length and a quarter. Zip your lip was second. Wild Poppet third. Loopaloo finished fourth. Want to know the most exciting use of your iPhone or iPad? It's the Oaklawn Anywhere app. Oaklawn Anywhere is available in the App Store, and Arkansas residents can download it for free. Then you can bet online anytime on your iPhone or iPad and get cashback rewards. Sign up today using promo code APP, and you can earn as much as a $150 bonus. The Oaklawn Anywhere app opens up a world of top racing action wherever you are. From Oaklawn, home of the Arkansas Derby and the Racing Festival of the South, to racing at tracks across the world, you can bet and watch right from your iPhone or iPad. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Remember that pony you asked for as a kid? Well, it's finally here. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. The thermal spring waters our city is named after are known for their legendary healing properties. 
Their thirst quenching properties are pretty nice too. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. Check out Hot Springs newest and favorite taco destination, Capos Tacos. Located across from Oak Lawn Park on Higdon Ferry. Or visit us at Blue Monkey Grill, one of Hot Springs favorites for over 15 years. They're off. Go Google yourself, Moe's MVP in Christmas Sky. Show the most speed and Christmas Sky will set the pace. Indian Paint is next. Wonder Gadot ducked in just slightly at the start and she'll sit fifth from Clever Serve and Rose of Malibu. Christmas Sky is amped up to the backstretch and she runs away to lead. Christmas Sky now three and a half in front of Moe's MVP and go Google yourself. Longshot Indian Paint races fourth at the rail. Just outside of her, it's the big favorite Wonder Gadot. She's got about four lengths to make up. Those two are four in front of Clever Serve and Rose of Malibu as they run up the backstretch Christmas Sky. Now takes a breather and her lead is only a length and a quarter less than that as Go Google Yourself comes to challenge. Christmas Sky three quarters of a length. Go Google Yourself is second by a length and a quarter. Here's Wonder Gadut up into third now and less than two from the front. Moe's MVP and Indian Paint drop back. Rose of Malibu is following the favorite. She could get up into fourth soon and she just did. Rose of Malibu running a good one. Clever serves still at the back of the pack and they run around the far turn. Go Google yourself and Wonder Gadut and here is Wonder Gadut to take over the lead. She's a neck in front of Go Google yourself in second. Rose of Malibu two back in third. These three have it to themselves and Go Google yourself is counter punching inside of Wonder Gadut. Go Google yourself is back in front. A length in front of Wonder Gadut who has to re-rally. Then Clever serve. Go Google yourself has turned away Wonder Gadut. Go Google yourself. Go Google yourself. Beat Wonder Gadot by a length and a quarter. Clever serve was third. Rose of Malibu finished fourth. They're at the post. They're off. Very slow start, quite a secret, very fast start. Fire on high, she'll pick her path. Fire on high is the leader up the backstretch. Kiffle's on the move now, and Kiffle takes over the lead with Wild Oaky Rose. And next comes Sweet Carly, and so now Fire on High will sit fourth. Then it's a length and a half further back to Flashy Biz, at the rail, flat out country. Carissa Christmas and Carolina Beach are next. Then comes Arbitress, quite a secret, and the trailer is Eva's Candy. Into the far turn they run, and the leader is Kiffle, and she's a half length in front of Sweet Carly at the rail in second. Wild Oaky Rose is third, just outside of her, goes and moving up. Fire on high and further out, Eva's Candy. Wild Oaky Rose is next, and they run to the top of the stretch, and the leader is Kiffle. Kiffle is a half-length front in, of Sweet Carly in second. Now two lengths further back to Fire on High, who's racing in the third. In the center of the track, Flashy Biz is fourth, and Kiffle's the one to beat. Kiffle has the lead of 16th out. It's a full length over Sweet Carly in second. Fire on high, Flashy Biz in Carolina Beach. It's Kiffle clear to the wire. Two wins, Mac Robertson, Kiffle beat Sweet Carly. Fire on high was third and Flashy Biz finished fourth.